Hello and welcome back. Do you know what is availability and why it matters? Do you want to know how to configure Azure functions for high availability? Stick with the video today and I will show you how to achieve high availability for Azure functions web API. In this video, we will discuss why availability matters, the architecture overview, availability SLA for the architecture and how to increase the availability. First, let's understand why availability matters. Large organizations cannot afford to operate without IT infrastructure for long. For an example, if a cloud provider region goes down, let's say due to a fire, some organizations cannot wait until the region comes back up. They will have a backup strategy to spin up a new environment in a different region. Second use case is mission critical applications such as healthcare applications. Difference between life and death could be a few minutes. So it's very important to minimize the downtime. Third case is not as critical as the first two. However, it's important to consider user experience. In the present, there are multiple providers for the same service we can think of. It's important to stay competitive with user experience. Let's quickly go through the architecture we are considering. Backend is deployed to Azure Functions app and is exposed to the public through API Gateway. Authentication is implemented with Azure Active Directory, B2C tenants. We have an Azure Functions backend and a single page web application hosted in a storage account. SPA is hosted as a static website and exposed to the public through Azure CDN for better latency. Now that we understood the architecture, let's find out the availability service level agreement for each component. Service level agreement, or in short SLA, is the guarantee from the cloud provider for the availability. When they cannot maintain the guaranteed availability, they will discount your cloud bill depending on the downtime. Active Directory and Cosmos DB has an availability SLA of 99.99%. Function App and API Gateway has availability SLA of 99.95%. Storage Account and the CDA has an SLA of 99.9%. If we convert these SLA percentages into hours, 99.9 .9 translates to 9 hours of downtime per year. 99.95 means 4 hours and 99.99 means 1 hour per year. This will lead to overall availability of 99.9 .9 with 9 hours of downtime per year. This doesn't seem much. However, imagine you have an e-commerce platform going down for 9 hours on Christmas. That will be disastrous. Let's make this better. Notice that some of the services are regional and the rest are global. We cannot improve SLA for global services. They will offer best availability for the respective pricing tiers. For regional services, we can deploy them in multiple regions to make the availability higher. Let's find out how we can do that. For the backend, we will deploy the Azure Functions, API Gateway and Cosmos DB into one more region. We will use a load balancer to manage the failover to the second region in case the first region goes down. We will set up geo replication for the Cosmos DB to sync the data in the secondary region. This will help us failover seamlessly. For the front end, we need to configure storage account to be geo redundant. This will automatically replicate data to a second region. On top of that, we need to find a service which offers better availability than Azure CDN. The updated architecture will look like this. We have the function app, API gateway and the Cosmos DB instances deployed in two regions. Storage account is configured to be geo redundant. Azure Active Directory will provide authentication. The final question is how to load balance and automatically fail over to the second region in case of region failure. Azure Front Door is the service that we can use for this use case. It has 99.99 .99 availability. Front Door can detect health of each region and manage the failover so that the users will have seamless experience even when one region is going down. On top of that, the Front Door can act as a content delivery network for the single page web app with 99.99 .99 availability. With that, we conclude this video. I will add the references I used to put this video together in the description below. If you like to see a demo for this setup, please leave a comment below. As always, please like and share the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you find it useful. Until next time, goodbye and take care.